Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a quick reading for our Divine Feminines. All right. So our DF Empress High Priestess Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you. All right. Let us go ahead, jump right into the reading, see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you. We have, we both still need more time to heal and grow from it, okay? So both you and your person are needing time and space to heal, think, okay? See what it is that you're feeling. It says, I wish I could feel your body close to mine, okay? All things in due time, what it feels like, okay? We have, your warmth radiates through your soul. Person feels like they can see you, the real you, okay? Um, beyond what it is that, you know, we show to others, our persona, if you will. They see your soul, okay? We have a blank card here. So this person feels like there's a lot of things they would like to say. Perhaps they're unable to say them, or maybe it's just not the time to say them, okay? It's not the time to speak on certain things if you can't act on them because then it comes across as manipulation. Person is not manipulative. They don't want to deceive you, so they just don't say anything unless or until they're ready to do something. It says, you are my light in the darkest times. This person could be going through a lot right now. Maybe you just don't know that, okay? They could have just um, exited stage left out of a karmic situation. Some of you could be exiting stage left out of a karmic situation, but this person is some sort of light for you or you're some sort of light for them doing testing and trying times, okay? Let us see. Messages here for feminine. We have, I sometimes feel you deserve so much better than me, okay? It could also be another reason why they, you know, um, stay in the shadows, okay? So yeah, it says, I wanted to tell you so many times already how much I miss you. But again, I'm going to tell you I miss you if I can't do anything about it. It's kind of weird. Why say anything, you know? So that could be where this person is coming from. There's nothing they can do other than miss you right now. So why even say anything, okay? Let us see. This person could have been dealing with addictions, okay? Let us see. We have Twin Flames, okay? Yin Yang, Zen, Balance, Union, Duality, Coupling, Complement each other, okay? You get each other very, very much so, okay? This person still feels like they're not enough. Again, they feel like you deserve better than them, and this sometimes frustrates them in a relationship. They lack confidence, okay? And so they sabotage the connection out of fear, okay? This person may also just overall not feel good enough for you. Um, so in the event that there is someone around you, they're jealous or they're envious of that, okay? Okay, so this is, um, you know, something they have to deal with. Again, why they said we both still need time to heal and grow from it. We have abundance, okay? Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So in other words, this person feels really great things about you. They think about you in a really positive light. However, they may just not think of themselves that way. They may not see themselves that way. And so to be your divine counterpart, they just, they don't see how you feel like that or why you think that because they don't feel good enough for you. Okay. Um, but spirit is encouraging them to keep a positive mindset. Can't force them though, right? We have Cupid's arrow. This person loves you a lot. Um, again, they may not say this. Instead, they just keep a lot of these things to themselves and they sit heartbroken, deeply hurt and saddened by this separation. Okay. But it says have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. Um, some of you may have a surprise up your sleeve or vice versa. They may have a surprise for you again. Hmm. Let us just see what's going on. Let us see what spirit has to say. Y'all says girl with a snake. Okay. So some of them feel like they have a lot of people around them that take advantage of them because it says empath and narcissist paradigm. Okay. Being charmed or use enable boundaries mirror. Okay, mirroring each other. This person could feel like they have people around them that take advantage of them and use them. So do you. That could be another thing, again, that you both need time to heal from. Okay, let us see. Hmm, really interesting. Okay, we have coffin. Endings, yeah, bring new beginnings. So exiting stage left out of one situation. And... 
this person again still they have to feel like they're good enough you know and a, i don't feel like you should jump out of one thing into another one but someone is ending something with a snake and it keeps coming out like this okay so yeah the runner they ran to a karmic because they felt like you know they were good enough for that <laughs> they weren't good enough for you though you get what i'm saying something like that but they love you okay again y'all i keep saying let it go let it go let it go lead a past in the past however i feel it keeps coming up because the only way to leave the past in the past is to acknowledge it like you can't run away from it you have to approach it you have to deal with it head on you know you cannot run away from it so let us see okay something along those lines man we have the tower yeah somebody keeps trying to run your twin keeps trying to run spirit is not letting it happen it's not going down the hierophant yeah listen spirit has shown them time and time again they may not see themselves as this earth angel but they really are they are an angel on earth as are you um i mean you can't force someone to see it though okay we got the eight of wands here okay the eight of wands is communication they are going to communicate with you that they have not felt good enough page of pentacles they feel like a page in comparison to you pages are inexperienced or you know at the beginning stages of something so this person may feel like it's just not true though i feel like this person has one idea in their mind but the reality of the situation is they may feel like a page but with the eight of wands also rapid progress the hermit so they go into their hermit mode their man cave their woman cave you know go into isolation to really think okay some of them tennis for some of them may feel like they're going to hurt you some of them could have hurt you before maybe they just don't want to hurt you again they don't want to keep you waiting um there's so many things that are coming out right now seven of pentacles could not only be investments of our time money energy whatever but waiting on something waiting to see the results this person is like you know uh they could feel like they're um broken and so by loving them you may get broken you know you may become broken it's something like that that could be coming through we have the two of swords all right two of swords represents blind faith so spirit is like listen uh, yeah have faith that's what cupid's arrow says have faith so double emphasis on that they're trying to show them listen speak up say what it is you want to say do what it is you want to do you want to let this person know hey you are my light in the darkest times i have an offer for you ace of pentacles you know, this is the emperor wanting to make an offer, but right now they're confused. They're uncertain. You know, they have these memories and these flashbacks of maybe when they made this um, offer in the past to someone and they were manipulated, they were charmed, they were used. So it makes them want to enable healthy boundaries. Sometimes they shut out things that could be good for them, though, in the process, just out of fear, you know, of repeating something from the past, five of cups, you have four of cups. So they reject everything, even though it may be good for them, doesn't matter. They're keeping this wall up, this guard up. But they cannot stop thinking about reconciling with you or reuniting with you. Knight of Cups is relationship, romance, different things like that. So they pray about it. They pray for a way out or they pray for a solution or they pray for clarity of what to do, what moves to make when it comes to this situation. We have the Four of Pentacles because they feel like if they don't do something, they're going to hold back or you're going to pull back or you're going to hold back this is the truth that they have accepted they have to share something with you all right so again something about a snake what is this okay i sometimes feel you deserve so much better than me i continue to get charmed or i was charmed some of them feel like they were charmed and they ugh, just I know you guys like again 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 but that's it keeps coming out so that's how they feel they feel like they did something that they have to make up for it's like they're being guilty or beating themselves up about something that a lot of you have already forgiven them for in the event that you've forgiven them you moved on okay cool meaning moved on with your life not moved on to another but it's like they're still holding on to something that they did um because they feel bad about it they feel like they shouldn't have done it but everything teaches us lessons it clearly was meant to happen otherwise it wouldn't happen we have the page of swords here so they're very curious you know and wanting to come towards you just not wanting to be impulsive or overly impulsive yeah we got the magician here the six of wands so prayerfully by bringing some things to your awareness i can just manifest you all right so the only thing that's blocking their manifestation right now though is them feeling like they're not good enough we have the nine of pentacles you're very independent 
Um, so what would you need me for? You know, three of wands, but they're wanting you to come in. They're wanting to pull you in, but this negative thinking that they have going on right now is not really helping them. And we have the seven of pentacles and we have the world. A person feels like if they keep you waiting, you're going to end things with them. You're going to close the door of five of pentacles. So they have to do something in quick. So it's kind of like they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do, but they're going to go for it because they feel like they have to say or do something now. Like it's that type of energy. Okay, so let us see. We have cupcaking. They really like talking to you. Okay, a lot. This person, again, they want to come towards you, but they feel like they if they come towards you now before they are ready, they feel like they may say or do the wrong thing. But if they don't say or do something soon, they may lose you. They're all over the place. Yeah, this person is wondering, do you have other options? You know, I don't feel good enough for you, but I don't want you with anybody else either. That's basically where they're coming from. You get what I'm saying? Um, capping, yeah, gaslighting. So a lot of you feel like this person is gaslighting you. Um, they're saying one thing and doing something else. Like I said, it's manipulation. And then not accepting accountability or acting as if that's not what they're doing is them gaslighting you. So you're like, wait a minute, you know, what is really going on here? Okay. But again, I feel like this is two earth angels who have dealt with people who have wronged them in the past. So because of it, you're doing everything in your power to avoid being lied to, to avoid being trapped, to avoid, you know, being manipulated. And it's like, it's making things more difficult than is necessary. Yeah, so now the runner is going to be the chaser. Coming after you, Divine Feminine. Okay. Again, because now they feel like you'll do anything to disconnect from them at this point. Yeah. Again, who are you dealing with? So it's like they don't feel good enough, but they don't want you with anyone else either. Okay. It's really, really interesting. Let us see what Spirit has to say about all of this. And then I'm just going to wrap it up. It's hot. Yeah, we have Illusion. Cupid. Okay, see what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. They made a bad decision before when it comes to relationships. So they just want to make sure they're not doing that again. However, what we see here, Cupid keeps coming out. No, this is not that. This is love. This is not what you thought before. This is not. And I mean, again, I can understand the frustration of whoever is feeling this way because <sighs> yeah, spirit doesn't deal with confusion, man. But I feel like someone is making it confusing because they're confused themselves. It's just they're confusing their own self, so they're confusing you. It's really weird. Okay, spirit does not deal with confusion. I see why people are just like, you know what, I'm good. You know, walking away, person is all over the place. Okay, and one more. Yeah, it's because of how deeply they feel, and they just don't want to be a fool. All right. It says love is in the air when Cupid's around. All secrets of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. And look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Underlying the energy here is trust. All right. It says you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. You guys are wondering why this relationship is not flourishing because there's no trust in it. Either they don't trust that they're good enough for you. They don't trust that this is a real thing. They're doubting it. It seems too good to be true. Um, fantasies here. So it's like you're my dream girl or you're, you're the dream person or it's something like that. So nope, it's fake or something. But it says commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. So perhaps that's another thing Spirit is trying to get them to see. You know, heal. Do what you have to do so that you understand healthy commitment or you understand healthy choices when it comes to love and relationships or something along those lines all right but i really hope this helps you if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and have